hi 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 everyone welcome back to my channel today is wednesday december 2 december 2 guys i can hardly believe that we are already in december but worse i can hardly believe that corona is still around man we need to run her out of town but anyways today is motivation wednesday my name is hanika if you're coming for the first time please please go ahead and subscribe before you leave click that thumbs up button comment on this video and share with a friend if you are already a member of this family thank you for coming back and clicking on this video thank you all so much for the support now i am trying to get to my 1000 subscribers so guys share 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 support you girl okay so you know we have to do bible studies right because not all the time we can explain everything but not say can explain everything but for every subject everybody have a different version and or they understand it so every thursday we have bible class on zoom from my church oneness apostolic assembly of jesus christ in jamaica 16 to 18 federal road as you all know this right so last thursday night was november 26 and we have our usual bible study now i am going to share because trust me i think y'all need to hear this because believe me i heard it so bible studies thursday the topic was about spiritual warfare i have all my pages and notes and you know it's not on a black or a white board so you gotta listen and and remember if you're going to bible study guys please have your book or your paper and your pen or your pencil you gotta have your writing utensils all right so you can go back and look and check because i remember i i love being in bible studies because sometimes you you are out on the street and somebody bring up a conversation that has to do with the bible you need to be able to back up yourself you need to be able to back yourself up but you know what caught the talking let's get into it so spiritual warfare and the <clears throat> feature scripture scripture was from ephesians 6 10 to 8 and it was about it is not was it is about sorry so i think something stuck in my teeth anyway so this is about what we need to wear when going to war because you know the soldiers they wear they're always clad in their uniform but they have to have on the bulletproof vest their hats their weapon and all these things their boots and all of that so we have the waist belt of truth the breastplate of righteousness the boot of peace the shield of faith the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit now first our teacher went on the waist belt of truth which is Ephesians 6 14 and my pointers that i have done that i'm going to share with y'all is <clears throat> the point which is considered to hold us up so the waist belt of truth is considered to hold us up if if it's weak we may not be able to stand upright so the waist belt of truth keep you upright right so you know like somebody's wear um lift weights and all of that that waist belt that they put around you know when they put it on it just keep them upright you know keep your posture so the waist belt must be there to hold us upright to fight because you can't be slouching and fighting so listen physical and spiritual fight is similar because you cannot be in a spiritual warfare and be slouching you have to be focused at attention and the waist belt of truth 
holds you up. You know what I mean? All right, be sure to be girded with that waist belt of truth. Uh, the expression of God is true in Jesus Christ. So his words are true. So the waist belt of truth is his words. So you know that when somebody come at you and you can say it and the word says this is from the Bible and you can just bring it. So yes, you know that. And truth causes us to stand because if you're a liar, you can never stand straight, man. You have some people, they lie. And no matter how they look, you can tell. Truth hold us up uprightly. Gird, truth girded us with righteousness and deliverance. Because as long as you tell the truth, you can, you will always be delivered. So you don't tell no lie. You tell lie, you're still under bondage. <laughs> well, this is me speaking. Now we went on to the breastplate of righteousness. So the breastplate, the breastplate of righteousness is considered as the bulletproof vest. You know that armor vest in the olden days you see they have on the metal breastplate. So now it would be the bulletproof vest that the soldiers or the police officers or them would wear when they're going out. So this protects the vital organs in the chest. Righteousness is the chief attribute of God. Righteousness exalts, it gives, it gives life, it protects. And we can also check in Hebrew 1 verse 8, and the breastplate protects the heart. So as long as you try your best to stay righteous, it keeps your heart protected. Now we went on to the boot of the gospel of peace. We must be able and ready to share the word of God with others anywhere. Anywhere. And don't be afraid of talking about the word. Don't be afraid of expressing yourself when it comes to that point. Take and protect the gospel from harm or disgrace. Yeah? Okay, good. Bring this swift and with peace love and wisdom because if you're bringing the word you can't and the word said let not your heart be troubled no 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 who gonna hear that nobody bring it open your mouth let it out you know what i mean when you see a preacher go up on the rostrum and they start bringing that word you can feel it you know feel it to the core seasoned with grace where we are the salt and the light of the world go with the right attribute protecting the gospel the gospel of jesus jesus christ is peace peace boot of the gospel of peace i keep hearing that thing oh and remember the gospel never lies, yeah? Never. Never take off your boot. Because you can't go to war without your boot. The shield of faith. The shield of faith is like the riot shield. You know that, that, that big glass shield that you, you, you see like you would say the SWAT team or the riot team or they go out and that behind that big shield. Yes. And... You can also look at a reference, Hebrews 11, 1 and 2. So the shield of faith, it protects you. The shield of faith is of, oh my God, I lost that piece. The shield of faith is to give. All right. The shield of faith is a defensive and offensive weapon. So it is a tool that will protect you and defend you. And you can check Psalm 32 verse 8, Hebrews 3 verse 5. We can use the shield of faith. That it can cause to happen and to prevent things. Yes, like protect and prevent. Yes, yes, yes. Put the shield of faith to work. Put faith to work. We all, a lot of us say that we have faith. 
and we don't even have faith as small as a mustard seed because if you have faith as small as a mustard seed you know the faith can move mountain you can tell the mountain to move and it move you understand like I, I i don't know if i spoke about this before but i was going to work the other day and i mean we had a little issue with the the computer and i was going to work that morning i didn't have a second that morning i was going and i said god please may i ask you may you go work this morning and may i ask you to make this computer just do what it's supposed to do no better with the foolishness so i went and when i started up it started doing what it felt like doing and then i said god may you talk about this you know we talk about this already I remember I know me say me and you go to work this morning. And we talk about this this morning, you know. And me mean like not long after. I don't think it was a minute. Or probably if it was a minute or two. But then everything went smoothly. You understand? So you have to have faith. Small things. Because if you ask him, if you just make one computer work. Oh my God, come on. Where's the limit? There's no limit. The helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation. So your head is your crown, right? So the helmet of salvation will protect your crown. So recog um, recognition. Not the word recognition. Oh my God. Reconnect to God. So your helmet of salvation it's your mind because it's the mind that you serve the Lord and you need to reconnect with your mind. Salvation cover us, beautify us. Salvation brings out the best character out of us. You know what I mean? The helmet of salvation protects your mind. It keeps the mind in perfect peace. These are just what I jot down while the speaker was speaking. So these are not really his exact words. Is that what I get from what he was saying, I put down on paper here. So I'm trying to go through this really quickly so I don't take up a whole lot of time. You know, I'm just sharing what I learned and what I put on paper with you all. So Romans 7 verse 29, that's also a reference scripture. I'm going to put all the reference scripture down in the description box so you can all check them out for yourself as well. Salvation will keep us alive spiritually when our mind is stayed on him. And I, I can tell you that when your mind is stayed upon him, there is no limit to what can happen. None no limit to what can happen trust me the helmet of salvation it brings the revelation of god connection and association and when our mind is stayed upon him our mind will be in perfect peace so when your mind stay upon god you're not to worry about nothing no man can have peace of mind except he have the god of salvation keep the helmet of salvation at all times cover your mind you know you pray for god cover somebody pray for him cover you as well because sometimes we pray and forget to pray for yourself sometimes we pray and forget to pray for yourself sword of the spirit which will be like for example a rifle or you know police are going to him if you have him weapon soldier go to war if you have him weapon because you cannot go to war with empty hand all right see you cannot go to war without a weapon the word of god which is our weapon and our defense sorry the word is sharper than a two-edged sword the word can cut you. Shing, shing. Trust me. The word is a spirit, life giving, powerful, and a discerner. Yes, believe it or not. The world, the word will discover us. The sword is the word. The word is our weapon. Use the word. Use the word. The word of God can pierce through anything. 
anything it can pierce through anything and i remember after the bible study was over the last words that he said we are in it to win it so you see as long as you have salvation and you are saying yes to that one god you sorry you are saying yes to that one god you are in it to win it i am in it to win it i am in salvation to win everlasting life we have to keep our armors on at all time you can't let your guard down you can never let your guard down because a man who goes to war and let his guard down is born to end up in issues he can lose his life he can end up in the hospital, lose a leg, lose a hand, lose a eye. So what I am saying today is that we need to keep on the armor of God at all times. Cover ourselves. Whether you are sinner, whether you are Christian, whatever your religion is, we all know. Because I can tell you, you know, some sinners pray and feed them and pray and answer faster than some of our Christians. Because guess what? The sinner pray and put all sincerity, everything from the heart in that prayer. Believe the prayer I go happen. Believe say God I go answer the prayer. But because some of us say that we are Christians now, we said, okay, anything we ask God for, we will get it like promptly. But if you are not at that place, if that prayer is not sincere, because true, some of us say we are Christian, we open the mouth and say to God, God do this. We expect Him God do it. But if your heart is not with Him. And if there is no sincerity, best believe you either now go get it or you have to wait until he believes that you are ready. So guys, I'm encouraging us today to keep on the whole armor of God. Keep ourselves protected, the chest plate protected. The mind protected. Make sure we gird up our loins. Make sure we boot well tie up and strap up. Make sure we have a weapon ready. And the word. The word. The word ever did if it back you up. Alright guys. So this is where I leave you today. You do have a wonderful day. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Keep on the old armor of God. Stay blessed and God bless. Bye.